tonight. It's Madden NFL football. It's Super Bowl Sunday. the Pittsburgh Steelers taking on the New Orleans Saints. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the Pittsburgh Steelers, the AFC champion, taking on the NFC champions, the New Orleans Saints. near the 25 just a little pass there call it the 26 so the Steelers offense getting set for their first drive and out will come the leader of this offense and that of course is their signal caller what I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team that wins. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense on with a guy with that type of speed, you do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. to throw here. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he will have the Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. They'll let the QB keep it here off the option. Shrugs him off. And another tackle broken. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. He'll pick up seven there on the first down keeper. 47-yard line. A seven-yard pickup. Second and three. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Neal. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 32-yard line. 
As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Now this time he'll look to throw. Blitz coming and down he goes. And here the pressure from the outside linebacking spot. And normally when that happens and they're able to get home, that means other guys on his team helped him out a lot. That they occupied people to allow it to be no less than a one-on-one -on -one situation allows him to get home. The seventh play now of this opening drive. This is third and long, though. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Fourth down after the Orleans defense holds serve. Coverage is awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Set to take over once again. Out comes the Saints offense. Is not what you want to see from him on the big stage, obviously. And he, he's been so reliable all season long. A big part of why they've gotten here to this game. But you have to wonder, will this haunt them later as the Super Bowl progresses? The ball carrier. A gain of three, second down. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Now we'll play fake, and it's Watson. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the 11. And a terrific return as he'll take it up past the 35. That was a really nice interception. I think it illustrates the differences between playing man and playing zone. When you're in man, all you're focused on is the receiver in front of you. But when you're in zone, you're allowed to read the quarterback's eyes and go to the ball. That's exactly what happened on that play. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. The last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He's going to look deep down the field. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Brings up third down and three. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. This pass complete to Reynolds. And he will have the Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call it? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push off in order to get open. He finds a way to pick up a first down. They'll look to throw here on first down. Throwing right, and that's complete. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. 32-yard line.
This is Whitaker. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. On second down, it's Whitaker. Steelers with the first touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the Steelers have taken a first quarter lead. Striking first in any game is very important, but on this stage, the biggest of stages in the Super Bowl, that's huge. You fully expect the other team to battle all the way through, but when you're the one setting the pace, jumping out in front, that has to feel great for the entire organization. Now the try here for the point after. put it through to make it 7-0 Steelers. So the drive there took six plays. And the finishing touch was that nice long run into the end zone. Set now to kick this one away and off it goes. Here's Carter now on the return. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. At their own 32-yard line. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. This one across the 45 before he's brought down. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. And they'll try the jet sweep here. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. This is Coleman. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 11 yards there, just like last play. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy set the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10. Faking the give now, Watson. Over the middle, complete. That's Whitaker. And down inside the 15 he goes. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around, they want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know. They want to get this man involved as well, and that's what they just did on that play. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. From the red zone now, Watson. And it's caught. 
And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, and he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. They were able to stop him at the line on first down, but this time he punches his way through. And sometimes just because you stopped on the first run, it doesn't mean the play call was bad or incorrect. You might just need better execution and just a tad more determination. And they got it done on the second try. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So this drive spans seven plays, and it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taking it about the one. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And that last touchdown drive, a good mix of pass and run. Defensively, they just looked a little out of whack. And it's so hard to stay up with an offense that has things going so well where you're guessing and guessing wrong play after play. So what you need is someone on the defensive side of the ball leader, right? to make a big play. Throw that balance out of whack. That's what you're looking for now. Not worrying so much about guessing what the play call is. Second and nine. Second and nine now. This one's incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert. On third and nine. The coverage was good, but I just wonder if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play. I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. No, that's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. The Saints again ready to go on offense. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown. Now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there and handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time, because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. A shotgun snap for Watson. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. A gain of 10 makes it third and three. 
Watson on third down. Well, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defense is trying. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. The Steelers ready for their next possession. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before and realize it hasn't worked. <laughs> go to somewhere. something else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. A gain of four. It's now second and Second and six. After the catch, is that play good for 30 and a first? Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder, how is your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl? Well, they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. Seven seven. Our score after one. Score tied seven to seven. Now on first down, he'll drop the throw, and this is incomplete. I would say it'd probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series, before you get out there, hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Three catches for him now in the first half of this Super Bowl. It's a first down. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Brings up second and eight. Here's Whitaker. And good running. Going to get this down close to a first at the Saints 23. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They'll run on first down. Whitaker. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. Carry for the running back. Second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. This defense is really flowing around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. drive forthcoming and they need eight yards on third down off the play fake he'll look to throw Not able to get it 
from, from a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You've probably talked about since training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. There's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. So now we have Jackson slow to get back on his feet. Appears to be shaken up. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. an old-fashioned death march there, partner. Took them a lot of plays, but hey, they did the job. And the defense always preaches getting off the field, making a play and turning it back over to their own offense. Unable to do so. A long, sustained drive by the offense. The try here for the extra point. Now a 14-7 ball game. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a Pittsburgh touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Take over first and 10 their own 27-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try to mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers, but always let the defense believe right off the bat in a first down. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. From the gun, here's Watson. Oh, incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it there. And it'll be second down. A pretty rocky start in this game for the guy throwing the ball. Already has thrown one interception. Almost threw a second one right there. All he's doing right now is giving the defense a whole lot of confidence. Back to the air, Watson on second down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Brings up a third down and ten yards to go. To the air yet again, Watson. And still a pressure too much here. He's going down. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel so, oh. I could pay the, so I could pay the proper price. Okay, how much were they? A dime? <laughs> what were they? About 15 cents. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on to kick it away. Go on offense here, first and ten. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. It may just be the second quarter, but he's in his zone, well on his way to eclipsing that 100-yard mark. And when a back has a game, as we're witnessing right now, his name's going to be in the books. But it's really a collective deal, isn't it? Because that means he's getting plenty of blocking, 
A lot of help from his teammates, but he's making the most of it. And he's made the most of it to this point. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On the ground, Whitaker. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he will have the Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 12 yards that time at a Pittsburgh first. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. The running back again the ball. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. 47-yard line. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And his throw is incomplete. The Steelers on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This will be third and six. Six yards to go. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And he will have the Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Partners, a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now you can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. The give to Whitaker. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Going to give this time to the tailback. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. The Steelers on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. Here it's third and two. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed three. He got two. Now that will set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. This certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. They run for it with Neal. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. And they'll try to run the option here. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. No gain on the play. Second and... Ten. And he'll give it here to his running back. 31-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And he will not make it to that imaginary yellow line as they get him to the ground at about the 23. And for the second time tonight, his field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. And his kick here is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. Steelers 17. 
Saints seven. So he gets a shot at atoning for the earlier miss here in the first half and able to knock it through. And what a relief for him, don't you think? Because how many games have we done where kickers missed one early and never got a chance to atone for it the rest of the game? That's a lot to carry around. At their own 29-yard line. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get up here for the extra yardage. When you see a play like that, where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. A first and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. And an incomplete pass. But that'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Brings up second and ten at the 24-yard line. On second and ten, Watson. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Fleming. And the Saints are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Again, it's Watson. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. A five-yard touchdown. And the Saints have cut it back within a score. Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. A drive that time of six plays, and it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. 13 seconds, the time remaining in the half as they come up on first down. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Second and six, just inside the 30. So it's halftime here on sports' grandest stage in the Super Bowl. As we'll send you down to Orlando, and we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It's been a tremendous season from beginning to end. And now we'll play one half of football to decide who raises the Lombardi Trophy. And for the call, let's get it right back to Brandon and Charles. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. 
their own 28-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. The last run got six. Now second and four. Brings up second and four. They will run again with Coleman. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. And the Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. They'll try and run for it here. It's Coleman. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Coleman. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. They'll try the air now with Watson. At the 39-yard line. His throw here is incomplete. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Third down and ten. Here's Watson. On the screen, this is Coleman. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. On first down, Coleman. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Now, they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe it'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Second and 11 now. Watson. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. And 11. Throwing on third down. Watson. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. They were trying to set up that screen, trying to get that screen to formulate. Took too long. He ends up taking a sack, and that leads you to a couple of other questions. Number one, why don't you just get rid of the football near the screen, guys, so that you don't take an interception? But really, the big one, they just took everything away, and he was really kind of flummoxed on that play and ended up taking the sack. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. This will be fielded at the 17. So possession goes over here on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and ten. Time for the Steelers offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. They were able to get the ball back here. Didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. And he'll have it past 
midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. First and 10. Give him 32 on the play. So this play, you know, until recently, only something you'd probably expect to see in a college game, but running quarterbacks are certainly in vogue, and this turned into a big play. And you and I both know that for a long time, coaches worried about their quarterbacks taking too much punishment running plays like this, and they still worry about it. And when you can break up big chunks of yardage like that, it's worth the risk, plus you're coaching that quarterback to see those guys coming and get down before the big hit occurs. Another first down, this time on a gain of 19. Down at the 23-yard line. second down. Now you just have to wonder, will they keep the ball in his hands on third down? Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Yeah, a great play there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally the haymaker to put that drive away. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. They're down now 24-14. Work to do as they come up on a first and 10. Start out on the ground with Coleman. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Now it appears we have a Steeler here slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we get back. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Out of the gun, Watson looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Whitaker. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. A big play there on the catch and run, 47 yards. Still all sorts of time left in this game, and you'd like to be able to say, take it one play at a time. 
but the truth is they're probably going to have to hit on a few big plays in the passing game to close this gap, and that's a good start right there. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 25-yard line. From the gun, Watson. Oh, the ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off at the 20, the 40, 30, 10. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six for the Steeler touchdown. What a moment for him, a pick six in the Super Bowl. You think about some of the big pick sixes over the history of this huge game. I remember, because I was watching with a lot of Colts fans, Tracy Porter picking Peyton Manning to get the Saints' first title. Yeah, that one pretty much sealed the deal for New Orleans as well. But I got to go back a ways because, you know, unfortunately, I'm considerably older. Herb Adderley, the Green Bay Packers, got it all started. The first pick six. Super Bowl II against the Oakland Raiders and some of the better ones that were out there. You might remember Dwight Smith of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers had two in one game when they won their Super Bowl championship against Rich Gannon in Oakland. You mentioned Tracy Porter already. How about James Harrison in the Steelers? You remember that one? 100 yards right before the half ended. That was a big time play. But for me, the absolute classic. Willie Brown in slow motion against the Vikings for the Raiders. The grand old man. 75 yards. You recall them all. And what a play here. Another pick six in the Super Bowl. The New Orleans offense set to take over. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right. They, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the. Oh, the ball is hit. Watson lost it. have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately, had an alert teammate who was able to get it. The fumble on first down now, here's second down. Here's Watson. Well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Well, it was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. And now Watson throws another interception. Picked off at the 38, and he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill advised, but that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. It's a quick turnaround for them after the turnover, but the way they moved it on their last drive, they're probably eager to get right back at it. And you know me, and you know my tendencies in this situation. What do I want right now? Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Take your shot right here. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, he's had success running the football in this one. Yeah, that's undeniable. But that time, the defense was on to it. And partner, I think the more you see a play like this, the more they're able to diagnose it quicker and easier for them to defend it. I think you have to dress it up a little bit and show maybe some different formations and looks. Second and 11. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. And this score will stay right where it is. Saints 
coming out now to take the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. <laughs> All right, guys. Had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. Ten yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. They'll run here with Coleman out of the gun. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Brings up second and 12 at the 35-yard line. Operating from the gun, Watson. Going to throw right side here, complete. Watson, four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and eight. From the gun, Watson. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 16. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. 14. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Coleman. And he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of a face mask, I think. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Running left, Coleman on the toss. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great effort there. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Saints make some inroads here to that deficit. He's doing his part, but still facing a sizable deficit. And he would like to do more, but he needs help from the other two-thirds, right? He needs his defense to bow up a little bit, and he also needs special teams to maybe create some big plays and help them get back in it. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. Trimmed down to 10. That time, a six-play drive. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. 21. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting, and the kick is away. Taking it about the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. And they have been the better of the two sides to this point with a two-score lead fourth quarter of this Super Bowl. And the Lombardi Trophy within reach as they start this drive first and ten. Brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Now a quick slant as the throw is complete. And they get this run past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 
was more of the same there, partner. Guys have just been running free in the secondary this entire game. No pass rush, a lot of passes completed. Been an easy day for them. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll look to throw here. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. First down. First and 10 at the 22-yard line. They'll look to throw now on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Neal. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. shot as he tried to pull that one in couldn't hang on third down brings up third down and 11. they'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw that's taken in complete to reynolds and he's going to get this to about the 20 but that is well short of what he needed they stop him for that time and that'll bring up fourth down whether you're playing west coast offense or not one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. Out is the Saints offense now as they get ready to take over here. And we're at the time of this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and ten. Operating from the gun, Watson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Whitaker. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Throwing again is Watson. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Face mask. Defense. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Now a first down throw, Watson. Coleman has it here right side. It'll be a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the Steelers' 33 yards. Watson looks to throw again. Now he'll pull it down. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into some windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. On first down, it's Watson. And he's got it. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Here's second and two now from the three. 
Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. Coleman now. Three yard line. And he's going to get this back to the three yard line and no further. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, okay, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Saints touchdown. A great play there. Taking it in. And the Saints are back within a score. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know it sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collected victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? And the lead will shrink to six. Kick is good. So that drive in total eight plays. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. So here comes the kickoff and what now is just a one score six point game. Fielded just outside the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. And right now, probably just one thing in his mind, it's getting back to the hot start because he's really fading. And ordinarily when that happens, the quarterback, as you know, is usually the leader of the squad. Now there's probably a, a silent camaraderie that comes around him saying, hey, guess what? We got you. Don't worry about it. Let's go, big fella. Because they know more times than not, he tends to pick things up and they tend to play well. A gain of a yard. Brings up second. Now an option play and we'll keep it. They all have caught it up. The Saints say they have it and they do. I know when you're looking at the scoreboard clock, we're, we're getting near the end of this game. But they were in what was really called four-minute offense. And that's practice, being taking care of the football, taking time off the clock, not giving them a chance to come back. But bottom line is, what did I say in the beginning? Taking care of the football. That didn't happen. Didn't do it. A costly turnover. <laughs> Following the fumble recovery, Watson. And he will go down. Sack back at the 38. Ten yard mark. Oh man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Watson. And it's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. Watson's pass. Six yards is the pickup and that'll lead to a third down. Brings up third down. A shotgun snap for Watson. Well, there's that man again. It's complete. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies unable to get it done. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. They will indeed snap it to Watson. And no, it's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and 
dropped it. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. Man, he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen, hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra. It didn't pay off in that situation. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Four-yard line. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. But now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. He's going to keep this again. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. And fights him off. Now he'll let it go deep over the middle. That's caught at the 25. And he'll be down deep into New Orleans territory. A big play on third there for the Steelers. 51 yards. Great patience in the pocket. Of course, it's easy to be patient when the protection's good, and it was. Yeah, you've got to pat those guys on the helmet and say thanks because they gave him plenty of time to stay back there, survey the field, go through the reads that he wanted to, and deliver the ball accurately. That was really well executed. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. On first down, Whitaker, and he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he gets halfway home from the 10 to the 5 on a pickup of 5. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Well, this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. A great effort there with his third touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. You can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. And now the Steeler offense staying out there, and they'll go for two. They'll look to throw to the goal line, but it's incomplete. It is no good. That should have been picked. Probably doesn't matter on a two-point conversion, but still, as a former DB, you want to grab that ball when you can, don't you? You certainly do, and, and don't say it, because I know you're thinking it. Don't say it. <laughs> what am I thinking? You know what I'm, I know what you're thinking. Well, if he'd had hands, he'd be playing on offense, right? Ah, that's true. You've said that before. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. At their own 30-yard line. So Deshaun Watson in the offense. Down by 12. A little under a minute 50 remaining. Their long win streak in great peril as they come up first and 10. On first down, Watson. 
and it's complete. He gets this one to Washington. A gain of six there on first. Clock running, about to hit 90 seconds to go in the game. Drops it off for Coleman. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Watson trying to get his guys moving. Going on the right side here, and that's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. The throw to the left side, caught by Coleman. A good rally to the football, keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. Behind the line of scrimmage. To the air yet again, Watson. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. And a look now at Nelson, who remains down. He appears to be shaken up a bit. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not. And they'll try to convert on third and inches. From the gun, here's Watson. Over the middle, complete. It's better. And he's going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 22 there. And the ball is out. Watson lost it. But fortunately, the Saints were able to hold on to it. So they will indeed keep possession. Looking to throw again on second down. Watson. Call it a gain of three. And it'll be a third and about 13. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and 13. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. From the gun, Watson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Desperation time. Watson on fourth down. the clock with three seconds left so probably one final play here in the second quarter barring a penalty the Pittsburgh Steelers have won the Super Bowl and the Lombardi Trophy is going back to the Steel City and when this moment comes I think you look back at all the blood sweat and tears the offseason the workouts training camp week one two three all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion it's worth it it certainly is and rarely do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi trophy that didn't have their share of bumps along the way didn't have to face some adversity in the journey and now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it and all offseason They'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. Super Bowl champs, the Lombardi Trophy is theirs, and so are bragging rights for an entire season. What a season it has been. Feels like we have been there every step of the way. Our entire crew doing a wonderful job. Thanks to my broadcast partner, Charles Davis. For all those guys, I'm Brandon Gunn signing off. We'll talk to you next season right here on EA Sports.